Welcome to Stream Deluxe, my name is Mr. and welcome back, welcome back, 20 years of Steam, the Steam 20th anniversary celebration, you see, it's not really a sale, so therefore it was probably not on Steam database with all the leaks with the site, but it's an anniversary celebration and we're going to check out and find out if Steam is offering us something in particular. So, first of all, let's have a little click on or a, a quick a quick click on this amazing uh, this amazing image here here they are all those uh, wolf steam characters that made the platform uh, great uh, it's amazing to see we have of course uh, uh, main characters from half life we have uh, main characters from portal uh, and 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 what was this potato i don't know what this potato is guys so also there is a little clip, thank you a little clip that's Check it, it that's out. the video we had all of these creative ideas for what we could do for this but we realized we literally just want to say thank you it's because of all of the gamers and publishers and developers that steam even exists and the feedback that you've given us and continue to give us is how we can work to make it better so Please enjoy this page that we made. It's for all of you. And seriously, thank you. As you can see, no idea is a bad idea, right? I mean, it is a brainstorm session. Oh, okay. There are bad ideas. So we... thank you. <laughs> Guys, uh, that's awesome. This was really funny. So this was a Steam Deck on the person. So, but what do I have for you? So I would say we go directly to the Steam Point Shop. Uh, because here we have the Steam 20th anniversary items. Uh, and there you see we have a lot of free items that you can claim. So that's something uh, you should definitely do. For example, you can get the animated avatar by Counter-Strike. Uh, combined Tunak Tunak Tune profile background that's moving. So all of them are free. So we get them for free. That's awesome. So equip now. See, and then I can check out my profiles. Let's see. So this is how it looks then in my profile. Also pretty cool, I would say, guys. So therefore, let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. So if you're not interested in me reading through this a little bit, then uh, hey, thank you for watching, guys. So also make a lot of other kind of videos. But if you're interested in this, and then please stay with me. Because, hey, I already see some, some person saying, you're Mr. Orange. I'm Mr. Orange. But I can read this myself. I can read this myself. I don't need you to read this. Hey, guys, come on. I mean, that's how it goes today. So, Wolf launched Steam on September the 12th. September the 12th in 2003. Have you been already on Steam in 2003? And we are super proud and incredible grateful for what we've been able to do in the 20 years since. Steam success is a direct result of the players and developers around the world who use it. We thought it would be fun to look back at the top releases on Steam each year many of which are on sale as part of the celebration oh 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 is there a sale going on including wolf titles and added some fun facts for both steam and pop culture in general in art or text form or both but like give us the same leeway you might with an aging grandparent the dates and facts below are as correct as our collective aging memories will allow i love this uh, that's really funny so man we are all 20 years old anyway if reading a novel wasn't what you had in mind during your free time, feel free to use the years menu to jump around to one of the years that interests you. And at least scroll to the end. We might have something in there that directs you to free stuff. So probably, probably, probably the Steam Point Shop. So I guess we can go through some years, but we don't have to go through all of these years. I think uh, this is now we're getting maybe a little bit too much, but hey, 2003, that's the that's the year. So the year is 2003, MySpace launches. <laughs> Who remembers MySpace? Arnold Schwarzenegger, Schwarzenegger becomes the governor of California. Oh my God, yeah. Was this now a good or bad thing? I really wonder sometimes. And In The Club is the number one song. Also entering the club that year, Steam on September the 12th. We first announced Steam the previous year at the 2002 Game Developers Conference. And at time of launch, we primarily used it to more easily deliver Valve game updates. So this was the idea. The ultimate goal, however, is to give any game developer a way to reach their players and build their audience directly. So yeah, makes sense. I mean, offer a offer some sort of a network of some sort of a launcher to to allow 
game developers to immediately update their game. So, hey, it still makes sense that 20 years later, guys. Oh, my God. Ah, 2003. What was Mr. Orange doing in 2003? So I think I just I just finished school or something like this. 2004. In March of 2004, Counter-Strike Condition Zero is the first game we launch on Steam. This was the first game. Wow. And Half-Life 2 has its big debut on November the 16th. Yeah, that was very important. In between these two releases, Codename Gordon comes out in May as technically the first ever third-party release on Steam. Unfortunately, the game is eventually delisted, but still an important part of Steam history. Ah, Codename Gordon. Codename Gordon. Is this this? Codename Gordon. Codename Gordon. Codename Gordon. Hey, wait, guys. Sir. I have it here. It's not delisted. You can find it. And I made a video about this, how you can get this game, guys. So... I made a video about this, so see, everything is cool. Mr. Orange has them all. And then other fun facts, 2004 Facebook and the Motorola Razer launch, not together, of course, Google goes public, oh my God. The Numa Numa Kids hit is the big in meme land. Numa Numa Kid hits, oh my God, don't, don't remember this. So see, some of the Wolf games are a little bit cheaper than 2000. Four. Ah, we were at four. Now five. Valve launches Day of Defeat Source on September. Just a few weeks later, Ragdoll Kung Fu is the first third-party game distributed on Steam. Hey, good to know because I don't even own this game. I don't even own this game. So I have to check out uh, some of those titles actually. 79 cents. 79 cents. That's pretty cool. And then now you may be saying to yourself, wait, these fools just told me it was Codename Gordon in 2004. You are correct. We are fools. That aside, we had a bit of an internal debate since Codename Gordon went away. So soon after launching, but the person offering this is a people pleaser. So she decided to include both and let the reader decide. What can I say? Accept your welcome, Emirate. 2005 has some big pop culture moments. YouTube is born. Oh my God. Yeah. YouTube. Hey. You're watching this now on YouTube. Tom Cruise declares his love for Katie Holmes by jumping on Oprah's couch. And Brad Pitt and Jennifer Aniston's relationship goes the way of the year's most popular meme. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. Which is to say, boom goes the dynamite. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. That's so funny, guys. So 2006 Half-Life 2 Episode 1 launches at Journey Beyond City 17 on June 1st. Other notable happenings, Nintendo releases the Wii and Twitter introduces itself to the world in 140 characters or less, which is good timing since Western Union officially discontinues all of its Telegram services a few weeks prior. <laughs> oh my god, imagine this guy, so using a Telegram. Another thing discontinued this year, Pluto's planet status on all August 24th, Pluto is demoted to Dwarf Planet. So, boom, boom. Yeah, I remember. Pluto uh, was before everyone thought it's a big planet. And then it was a very small planet. So, maybe we should check out Stuffy to see how big it really is. <laughs> 2007. 2007. I think I was in university during this time. Therefore, I didn't have Steam because I was in university. I told you my life story already several times. So, holy crap, Wolf is busy on Steam this year. We launch Portal, Steam Fortress, Half-Life 2, Episode 2 and the Orange Box. We also host the very first major Steam sale. 10 to 50% of everything in December for the holidays. <laughs> Lots of milestones happening off Steam. Off of Steam 2, Apple launches the very first iPhone in 2007. Awesome. Netflix starts streaming and Keyboard Cat is one of several memes at the moment. So I'm missing some of those games like Hitman or some of the older Call of Duties, as it seems. November of this year marks the release in 2008. Left for Dead. Also in 2008, we introduced Steamworks as a set of tools and services for developers and publishers to build their games and get the most out of distributing on Steam. Steam Cloud arrives this year too, allowing... Hey, amazing guys. 2008 already Steam Cloud, so how awesome is this? Allowing developers a way to save their game files remotely and giving players access to their saved games on Steam servers from any computer. Other fun things that introduced themselves in 2008, Android phones, Airbnb, so Airbnb and breakfast, <laughs> the first movie in Twilight Saga, Blah, boo, my God, I never watched one actually, <laughs> still don't like it. So. 
So Left 4 Dead 2 comes out in November of this year in 2009, right in the time for the holidays. Ha, huh? no great more evidence for this is why we ask you not to try and be funny. Feedback one might want to prepare to receive from one's coworker should set co-workers notice deadline. Okay, that's not really funny, So, but Left 4 Dead 2. <laughs> Moving on in December, the movie Avatar premieres and goes on to become the highest grossing movie of all time, introducing innovative filmmaking technology to boot. So here also some interesting games, Aeon, Aeon, Torchlight, Dawn of War, Killing Floor, of course, 2010, Steam adds Mac OS support. We also launched Steam Play to support Linux users. Steam Wallet and the TF2 in-game store come out in 2010. Yeah, microtransaction deluxe. Also in 2010, Apple launches the iPad, Instagram debuts, and Lady Gaga wears a dress made entirely of me to the MTV Video Music Awards in September. So who cares? Who cares? Medal of Honor. Medal of Honor. Great game. My god, is this game already 2010? This game looks actually still pretty good. So also followed with new Vigors. Bioshock 2. And this was a great year for, for gaming. Then 2011, Portal 2 launches. On Steam, we add screenshots and Steam Guard, an additional level of security. Players can apply to their account. With Steam Workshop, we introduce a centralized place for player-created content and tools to download that content into games. Other fun things in 2011, the debut of Minecraft, Game of Thrones and Snapchat. Harry Potter rules the worldwide box office, Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows, blah, blah, blah. The royal marriage of England's Prince William and Kate Middleton and the end of pop culture era as Oprah Winfrey hosts the final episode of her talk show after 25 seasons. Wow, this must have been a great day. Ah, 12, 2012. I think 2012 is when I actually, uh, yeah, when I was actually getting into into my Steam. So when when is my Steam? So how many years? Let's check the batches. Let's check the batches. Let's check the batches. Hmm, don't see it. So Mr. Orange batches, here you see. No, I, I don't see my batches. But, ah. Yeah, something, I think it was something around like this. 2012, so Counter-Strike Global Offensive. And we introduced Steam Greenlight. Oh, I remember this in 2012 in an attempt to streamline the way the titles came to Steam, but ultimately find a better way to do that and face it out with Steam Direct in 2017. Steam Community and Steam Community Market both come to Beta in 2012 and Steam's big picture mode gives players a way to pair their PC with a TV and controller. Also in 2012, the launches of Oculus VR, Slack and Tesla O oh, and Grumpy Cat becomes a legend. <laughs> yeah, now everything uh, coming happening there. I remember very well. So I remember this very well. So, so you see a lot of the, what they actually introduced already in 2012 is still there, like Steam Community, Marketplace, Big Picture Mode, etc. Borderlands 2 came out. I played this game a lot. So I remember playing this game. So 2013, Dota, Steam adds features that include trading cards, family sharing, player reviews. So in this time, a lot was going on. Early access. Also in 2013, Frozen debuts and goes on to become the number one movie of the year worldwide. That also means this is the year Let It Go was stuck in everyone's head. Damn it, now it's back in there. Let It Go? Mm, don't remember the song. But I'm not American, therefore probably I don't know the song. <laughs> Press F to pay respect. This is 2014, yeah, that's also great. Me. Steam releases the discovery update, overhauling quite a few quite a few features in a bit to make it easier for players to connect with games and vice versa. This is also the year Steam gets in-home in streaming and broadcasting feature and we release Steam VR for the Oculus Rift and expand it to other headsets in subsequent years. Now I really try to remember when I when, when was the HTC Vive coming out. So we will read it probably soon. Other tidbits from 2012. Uh, 14 Alexa is born but don't say that out loud unless you wish to summon her and the ice bucket uh, challenge circles the planet in the name of raising awareness blah 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 
Ah, Watch Dogs came come out. Big letdown. Far Cry 4 was a great game. Banished, I really didn't like it. My god, I really didn't like Banished. So Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare, and Dark Souls, great games. 2015, Steam adds a hardware section in the support of Steam Controller, Steam Link, and Steam Machine. Hey, that reminds me, 2015 is when Steam Machine launches. Steam refunds arrive this year, streamlining the way players can request refunds in in-game items. 2015 also marks the launch of Source 2 Engine. Dota 2 becomes the first game to use it. And then in unrelated news, Internet loses its mind over whether the dress is blue or gold. And Le left Chuck out shines Left Chuck outshines K. Perry in the Super Bowl halftime performance. Ah, yeah, well, not funny. Ah, City Skylines, Black Ops 3, Phantom Pain, good games. And of course, hey, Grand Theft Auto 5 was coming out. Then the first annual Steam Awards happening. Then uh, on December 31st in 2016, uh, opening nominations during Steam Autumn Sale and voting during Winter Sale. 2016 is also a big year in VR for us. We team up with HTC to release the HTC Vive. Yeah, 2016 is the year. Headset and in April we launched the lab and as a mini game of sorts that lets players experiment with a pocket universe of aperture science at room scale. Ah, this was so great. Pokemon Go comes out, TikTok launches. It's also a year where the internet proves itself to be the thoughtful creative group of people we know it to be by choosing Boaty Mac Boatface as the name of the po of a polar research ship. Now we aren't going to blame anyone here, but it should be pointed out that England's National Environment Research Council asked the internet for the best name. Yeah, that's not funny. So blah blah blah. So all right, guys. So and Dark Souls three, Stardew Valley, Tomb Raider, uh, Rise of the Tomb Raider, and then 2017, Steam Direct, and lots of other big news uh, with launch of Nintendo Switch and Fortnite. So and some extremely good games. My God, Cuphead is also 2017. I waited like five years to buy this game, and then I was not so interested in playing it anymore. I'm sad. Wheatley play Despacito. Despacito. Play Despacito. <laughs> ah, 2018, my friends. I'm sorry, I'm a bit sick. So if my voice, uh, therefore I'm not uploading so much videos, but hey, 2018. And 2019, remote play together. The Steam Next Fest starts. Steam Labs arrives. Data are. Data Underlord, Dota Underlords and Valve, Wolf Index. Well, the Wolf Index 2019? Ah, yeah, that's possible. Other notable notes from 2019. Marie Kondo invites us to spark joy by getting rid of stuff and video streaming becomes a thing. Okay, Booba. <laughs> also, again, great games in 2019, 2022. Gordon Freeman. Half Life Alex comes out. So, news and event up. Uh, Note we new head crypts were scary, but damn, so th things are terrifying in VR. Alex launches just as the world goes into lockdown for the pandemic. So 2020 is also the year Zoom bombing becomes a thing. Check your background before those work meetings. Yeah. Ach, yeah, Tiger King. Yeah. Ach, 2020. Terrible year. I hate it. 21. Steam Game Festival gets a reprint as the next fest. And becomes the thri thrice yearly event, thrice yearly three times event. Uh, it now is also launch Steam China in partnership partnership with Productive World. Uh, dota dota dota. No one cares. Netflix Bernie Sanders becomes a meme with his mittens. Oh, terrible Bernie Sanders. Don't like him. And Squid Game challenges our happy. My God, Mr. Orange puts political opinions in his videos. Our happy memories of nostalgic childhood games yeah it's good game was amazing you can bet you sweet selves we aren't agreeing to play red light green light for a while <laughs> 2022 steamy handheld gaming computer well steam deck of course then we have steam replay steam replay was launched in 2022 and then uh, also the year Elon Musk buys twitter now x <laughs> And then 23, of course, the year isn't quite over, but so far we've released a huge Steam client update, Counter-Strike 2, entered into beta and launches soon, and there are now more than 11,000 titles verified or playable on the Steam Deck. How awesome is this? On the pop culture front, 
Ah, there's still a few months left for the year, but Taylor Swift is already a huge standout. Over the summer, she reached a point where she had four albums in the Billboard Top 10 at the same time. And not to mention that errors too. So very American, very American. So, well, that was fun. Thank you, thank you, thank you once again for making these past 20 years such a cool ride. Here's top, here, here's to 20 more. Oh, by the way, we've posted up some free goodies in the point shop. So, and then uh, check them out, guys. So, all right, with that, I'm leaving it here video became a little bit longer i went through all the years so i'm sorry i'm sorry guys so but hey no one has to watch this video anyway see you next time bye bye